You heard what they said, right? They said a sleepwalker can kill somebody when they sleep. But the person they usually kill while they sleep is a, a somebody they really love. What kind of shit is that, bro? Howdy. My name is Cloudy. Welcome back to the channel. You know what I'm saying? Today, we got a video from a channel called Grunge. This one is about the tragic murder of Brooke Preston. Now, shout out to my brother girlfriend, you know what I'm saying? She uh they called me last night telling me about some crazy thing that was going on, you know what I'm saying? Apparently this whole story is on Hulu. You know what I'm saying? If you want to go check it out, uh I think the story on Hulu is called Dead Asleep or something like that. But yeah, it's based on a true story, man. I ain't never heard of nothing like this before, so uh we're gonna check it out together, you know what I'm saying? I hope y'all enjoy the video. Check it out. Did love 30 beers in a single it's day. It's a short story. Sleepwalking? You know what I'm saying? This Possible unrequited love. Okay, 30 right. beers in a single day. Sleepwalking? This dangerous mix all seemed to play a role in the stabbing death of Brooke Preston. What really happened? Keep watching for what we know. According to the Palm Beach Post, in 2017, 21-year-old Brooke Is Preston right? was stabbed to death by a roommate and childhood friend, Randy Herman Jr., in their West Palm Beach, Florida home. <coughs> Herman called 911 <coughs> and confessed to the killing shortly afterward. <coughs> What's debatable was his unlikely defense in the death, that he stabbed his friend while sleepwalking during a bad hangover. He said in his 2019 <coughs> testimony that shortly after he- Hey, see, this is, this is another why I don't drink, bro. This is another reason why I say weed is fine. You know what I'm saying? You know what's good about weed? There's better weed. You know what I'm saying? It's like you can never end. Like, there's better and better weed. Or you can make weed so it hits you better. You know what I'm saying? You can mix all the weeds you like. You know what I'm saying? Put it in the ground, whatever. Have it grow. You know what I'm saying? Do all the extras, whatever you need to do to grow it. You feel me? This is why I don't drink. You know, he blamed he just blamed it on drinking. Him sleepwalking, doing what he did to his friend, he blamed that on drinking. Me personally, bro, I I ain't gonna say I give him the book, but cause I know stuff happens. You know what I'm saying? But it's still, bro. They said you stabbed your best, not your best friend, but they said you stabbed one of your close friends. You know what I'm saying? And you blamed it on alcohol. It's another reason why you shouldn't drink, up, bro. I'm standing over top of why you think and I have a knife in my hand, and covered in blood. I was confused, scared, didn't know what to do, didn't know what, what happened. Saying? I'm standing over the top of her and I have a knife in my hand, covered in blood. I was confused, scared, didn't know what to do, didn't know what happened. <sighs> Stay away from the alcohol. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Though Herman was convicted for Preston's this murder in 2019 and is currently serving a life sentence in prison, the Hulu documentary Dead Asleep explores Herman's defense further. Herman's story goes like this, according to the Miami News Times. Preston was moving out of their Florida house to live with her boyfriend in New York and had only a few personal items left there. She was in West Palm Beach to pick up those belongings and say goodbye to her friends. Her visit was treated as a last hurrah, with Herman, who reportedly had some issues with drinking, given the two DUIs on his record, drinking more than 30... That's why he... Ooh beers and that pick up those belongings and say goodbye to her friends. Her visit was treated as a last hurrah, with Herman, who reportedly had some issues with drinking, given the two DUIs on his record, drinking more than 30 beers in that single day. Annoyed <coughs> by Herman's intoxication, <coughs> Preston stayed with a different mutual friend that night. The next morning... Bro. That's why they gave him life, bro, because he'd been, he just kept on, bro, drunk 30 beers that night. I don't know how strong beer. I've never had beer before, you know what I'm saying? I had a little hen dog, you know what I'm saying? But I don't drink unless I'm in the house. I just don't trust. I don't, I don't think anybody should trust themselves drinking outside. You know what I'm saying? Just to be safe. I don't think anybody should trust themselves drinking outside. But you see, even him drinking at home, he just started doing some nut shit. You know what I'm saying? Most people probably wouldn't do what he did after drinking that many beers. Most people would probably eat, fall asleep. You know what I'm saying? Have a little sex, whatever, fall asleep. This dude had DUIs, you know what I'm saying, for drinking, well, drinking under the influence, and he drunk 30 beers this night. This is why he got life in jail, bro, because he just kept making the bad decisions to keep drinking, bro. This is why I tell every time, I, every time I'm on behind this camera, bro, I'm always trying to tell y'all, bro, stay away from the alcohol, bro. You don't need alcohol, bro. We, the guns is cool. You know what I'm saying? It's... How you chilling? 
or a heavy super hyper. That's it. But you know exactly what you're doing. You know Badly what hungover Herman helped Preston pack one final item, a shirt memorializing a friend who had died in a drunken accident. They hugged goodbye, and, and Herman bro. said he watched Preston leave his room as he fell back asleep. He claimed the next time he was awake, he was standing over Preston's body with a knife in his hand. Herman called 911 from Haverhill Park near Palm Beach, police and police himself. found him standing near a pavilion there he covered really in blood not know what he and with did. a wound between his thumb and index finger on his left hand. When police picked up Herman at the park, they returned to the house he shared with Preston where they discovered a bloody crime scene, as well as the alleged murder weapon, later described as a hunting-style knife. According to the Daily Beast, a police report later attributed Herman's hand injury to slipping and cutting himself on the knife. Preston's body was under a blanket, and investigators noticed apparent defensive wounds on her hand. Once the case went to trial, Herman's defense argued that Preston's killing had taken place while Herman was sleepwalking. It's not common, but killings committed by sleepwalkers can happen. According to the Palm Beach Post, though, there are certain criteria that a death needs to meet for it to be attributed to sleepwalking. An attacker must have a history of sleepwalking, no apparent motive, and the victim has to be well-loved by the attacker. Herman's case fits most of these criteria. Bro, that just made it more scary for me to sleep around people. You heard what they said, right? They said a sleepwalker can kill somebody when they sleep, but the person they usually kill while they sleep is a, a somebody they really love. What kind of shit is that, bro? Why is that? What? What? That's basically saying you're not safe sleeping around anybody. Because anybody can start sleepwalking and just do this to somebody. And you better hope you're not the one they love the most. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck, bro? Though Herman was clear that he did not remember what happened, the sleepwalking explanation was apparently first brought up by his mother, who told detectives that her son had significant sleepwalking episodes, including once when he rode his bike to her workplace in his sleep, according to the Miami wow. News Times. The Palm Beach Post reported But this that lets you know our brains, bro, are really powerful, bro. We can sleepwalk and travel while we're sleepwalking, bro. Our brain is strong, bro. Because our eyes are asleep while we're sleepwalking, right? So how do we know where we're going? You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. Our brains are strong, bro. Our brains are scary. In 2019, a 12-person jury rejected Herman's sleepwalking explanation for the death. Prosecutors grasping for an explanation for Preston's death painted the killing as motivated by unrequited feelings. They argue that Herman, while drunk and incoherent, had curled up in Preston's closet the night before, and a friend of his told the Daily Beast that he believed Herman was crushing on Preston. Moreover, prosecutors found the sleepwalking explanation improbable. Assistant State Attorney Reed Scott said in his closing arguments of what Herman was stabbing through, this is skin, this is bone, this is muscle. You're not going to sleepwalk through that. Herman, however, still maintains that he has no memory of Preston's death. I didn't do this intentionally, and this was a person I cared about. This was a close friend. In a letter to the Miami News Times, he tried to still maintain that he has no he memory of Preston's death. I didn't do this intentionally. Look like he got scrubs on. Nah, this is an inmate thing or whatever they doing interviews on them that's why okay bro it looked like he wearing some scrubs bro i thought he was a nurse i was like bro how did he get out and become a nurse like what the fuck and this was a person i cared about this was a close friend in a letter to the miami news times he tried to make sense of so the it's a possibility he's still working through it's a possibility that bro bro really did like brooke right found out brooke was leaving you know what i'm saying and the fact that he was drunk, he couldn't control the way he felt about her leaving and everything. Because probably, what if she leave like like always left like every other night to go hang out with somebody or whatever? What if he was always jealous during those times, but he was never drunk? So like he never really like, you know what I'm saying? Did anything crazy? You feel me? But this night he was hella drunk. You know what I'm saying? She came home, saw him doing whatever, and then she wanted to leave, so she was getting ready to leave, and it probably would piss him off when she was trying to leave. Or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And he probably, since he was drunk, he, he couldn't control himself. Everybody know when you're drunk, you really can't control yourself like that. You know what I'm saying? Unless you got a high tolerance or whatever, but I still wouldn't trust it, bro. I wouldn't trust it. But he was drunk, he couldn't control his emotions, and 
this this is what happened. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, that's just a possibility. It could he could have possibly been sleepwalking. If they saying you really can't kill somebody in your sleep, bro. It's a possibility, but there's a lot of other things into the, you know, there's a lot of things in this play right here. You know what I mean? So, ain't no telling what variable got him to that touchdown. I don't even think that was a good analogy, to be honest, bro, because somebody just died, bro. Right? But y'all get what I'm saying, you know? As he serves you know out a life like, sentence, he wrote, I believe what happened in my case could have been the culmination of tremendous stress, depression, trauma, and alcohol that essentially resulted in alcohol some unexplainable me mental breakdown. I'm, I'm beyond sorry. Part of me feels like I deserve a life sentence, but the other part of me knows I did not intentionally do this and I deserve a second chance in life. If you or someone know, you know is struggling with mental health, Would please contact him? the Crisis Text Line by texting HOME to 741-741. Call the National Alliance on Mental Illness I'm letting this right here play. at 1-800-950-NAMI. Like That's 1-800-950-6264. Or visit the National on, Institute of Mental Health website. I don't know. What y'all think, bro? Y'all think bro did it on purpose or y'all think he really didn't know he did it? Y'all let me know down in the comments, man. And if y'all haven't seen this, this is on YouTube. Not YouTube. This is on Hulu, like the real story or whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's on Hulu. It's called Deep Asleep. Deep Sleep or something like that. You know what I'm saying? I was looking at it. Where is it at? I'm off in a... It's on Hulu. Okay, yeah, Hulu. It's called Deep Asleep. Go watch it if y'all haven't watched it. I haven't watched it yet. I might watch it. I might not. You know what I'm saying? Most likely I won't. I actually, that clip that I just saw right there kind of probably just told me everything that happened in the show. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. You know what I'm saying? So I probably spoiled it for you, but if y'all haven't seen it, y'all can go watch it on Hulu and watch my clip. Leave a like. All that, you know what I'm saying? Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Is he guilty or is he innocent? You know what I'm saying?